Well, hello everybody, this is John Michael. It's the fourth Monday of Lent, and today we hear the story of the healing of the synagogue official's son. Now, Jesus had been in Nazareth. They didn't really accept him there, so he went back to Cana where he'd worked his first miracle. And he's over there, and the synagogue official says, I've got a son who's sick. Come to the house, you know, make him better. Jesus says, I don't need to even go to the house. So he says, your son will live. The synagogue official goes back to his house. He realizes that at the very moment that Jesus said, your son will live, his son got better and was healed, and he rejoices. So, you know, you don't always have to be physically present with somebody to pray for a miracle and to see miracles. I do it all the time after ministries. We have, we have a little meet and greet line, and I pray for people. People come up. And they say, pray for my son or my daughter or my husband or my wife or my mom or my dad. You know, they're sick or they've fallen away from the faith. And, you know, right then and there we stop and we pray for a miracle. You have to believe that the miracle you're praying for will happen. And then you have to accept the miracle that Jesus gives. And right there in that prayer line, we pray that Jesus will touch hearts, that he will bring people back, that he will heal them of sickness. And I believe that right at the very moment that we're praying that the Holy Spirit is reaching into those people's lives. He's healing them. He's calling them back. He's calling them home. And miracles happen. And we get reports later that, in fact, that does occur. So let's start praying for miracles for our loved ones, our sons, our daughters, our moms, our dads, our parents, you know, whatever. Pray for miracles and expect that miracle. If you say, if you have the faith to believe that you can say to the mountain, be lifted up and cast into the sea, it'll happen. But if you don't have that faith, it's not going to happen. Jesus says it very plainly. So let's pray with that faith, accept or expect a miracle. But then we have to have the humility to accept the miracle that Jesus brings. It may always surprise us. And it'll always be better than the one we were perhaps praying for. That's my prayer for you guys. I love you so much. All things are possible with God.